Hello friends, Neil here, Integrative Awakening Channel. I just thought I'd start this video off with this absolutely exquisite painting of white Tara from this Tonka that I have hanging in my bedroom. Rather than going immediately in to the more boring subject of the electromagnetic field pollution that we're exposed to from having our bed too close to the wall. So when we study the EMF literature, the experts always suggest moving our bed 12 to 14 inches away from the wall, as you can see that I've done here. Now, I don't like my bed like this. It's not comfortable. I don't prefer it whatsoever. As we all know, boogeyman can come up from between the wall and the bed when it's this far away and none of us want that to happen. But there's a reason why the experts tell us to move our beds away from the wall. Now when we look at this wall it doesn't look very dangerous does it? It just looks like sheetrock or plaster painted over and there's no outlets or anything here. However let's use a professional tool and what this is is a Gigahertz Solutions ME3840B meter which measures electric and magnetic fields. Right now I have it set to electric and as you can tell there's a little mark here next to the E and right where my head would be on this pillow it's, measure, it's measuring 14 volts per meter and here's where I keep my little notes on the meter. Notice that 10 to 20 volts per meter is highly precautionary and we should sleep in less than 5 volts per meter. And again, looks like the readings here are about 30 volts per meter. Now watch what happens when I go closer to the wall. You can hear the little Geiger counter sound that the meter gives off. And because there's wiring in the wall and these wires are giving off electric fields you can see that the meter is measuring about 120 volts per meter and as soon as we back off from the wall it starts to drop and this is the key point here that's important okay the closer we're sleeping to the wall and most all of us if we're sleeping with our head near a wall there's wires running through the wall 123 volts per meter and as we move back, it drops pretty significantly. And again, as I show you, I move the meter back here to where my head would be on this pillow. And it's only dropping down to 26 volts per meter. So this still really isn't that safe, but I've taken the best precautions that I can. And this will be true for any wall in your house where there's electric wires running through it. So, once again, where, where there are electric wires, running through the wall, there will be an electric field. And you can trace the wires using a meter like this. You can see just about where they are by how high the reading is. So once again, best thing is move your bed 12 to 14 inches away from the wall or better yet, have your bed in the middle of the room or at least just be aware and be conscious of the fact that walls are emanating electrical fields and once again it's suggested to sleep in less than 5 volts per meter many of us don't have a meter like this to measure it so we'll have to just understand that moving a bed away from the wall is the best thing we can do here's another bedroom in the house and as you can see this bed's not moved away from the wall all right the meter is about oh, 12 inches from the wall on the other side of the headboard and a person's head would still be in 
31 volts per meter of an electrical field. As I move this closer to the wall, the electrical wiring in the wall is measuring again about 130, 125 volts per meter. And as we move it away from the wall, it starts to drop down. Now I'll show you something else. Here at the foot of the bed, you can tell I didn't make a professional video by trying to make the bed look good. Now here at the foot of the bed, all right, we're all the way down here, and the meter drops to three, four volts per meter. So the electrical field drops way down. So by showing you this, you can make your own decisions about where to place your bed in your room and where to place your head. Once again, sleeping with one's head toward this side of the bed would be a lot smarter than sleeping up here, where immediately we're back up to almost 50 volts per meter. And once again, as a reminder, it's suggested to sleep in less than 5 volts per meter. And this reading, as you can see, where it says VM, that means volt per meter because we're measuring the electric field. And here's what happens once again when we get it near the wall. 125 volts per meter from the electrical wiring. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you.